back for more aquarium fun. Um, today is my least favorite day in all of the fish hobby. Just hate it. So today is canister filter cleaning day. Many of you know that this tank, this 300, is filtered by four Fluval FX6 canisters. Um, if you weren't around, I don't know, six, eight months ago, a little bit longer, I did a video as to why I filtered this tank with canister filters and not a sump, being that it is a 300. Reason being is I wasn't planning on purchasing this tank. I had a, two, a 220 here before that. It sprung a leak, so instantly either I needed to sell a lot of my fish or get a new tank so as you can expect a 300 gallon is not the cheapest tank in the world especially when it's custom made for you and delivered across three states so um, knowing that I had the four FX6 canister filters already I just decided to save a little bit of money uh, and just let this 300 ride with the canisters they do a fine job filtering the tank the water levels are always good it usually keeps it clear Today you can see there's a little bit of particle in the water, which is why it's canister cleaning day. And cleaning these canisters is just simply the worst part of the fish hobby for me. So here is the absolute real problem with the canister filters and from my perspective. Each one of these weighing, I don't know, 50 pounds or more, um, lifting them from an awkward position, it's just a nightmare, always has been, always will be. I know you can hook those smaller spouts up first and drain out the canister, but that takes too much time. So let's get into cleaning these two, see how nasty they are, and um, in another couple weeks I will do the other two. So let's dig into these. Now we're outside in the driveway uh, in the lovely Midwest. It's 34 degrees and raining. Again, another plus of the canisters. Uh, I would love to clean these out inside, but uh, you crack open a dirty canister filter in your house and uh, your significant other is not going to enjoy it. So here's what I have uh, rocking inside all these FX6, uh, the top layer top shelf is the pad uh, the middle I have the chemi pure blue bottom I have the bio so today in these we swapped out the padding I've got some new pads in there uh, replace the chemi pure blue um, bio untouched uh, one recommendation I would have for those of you that are running canister filters especially larger canister filters that are harder to take out maintain so on and so forth is if you're going to use chemical filtration really try to use a product that lasts as long as possible even if it costs a few extra dollars this chemi pure blue this stuff can last you three or four months um, if you're putting stuff in your canisters like purigen chemi pure elite carbon stuff like that uh, that stuff wears out a lot quicker um, you might be breaking into your canisters you know a couple times a month depending on exactly what you have in there so uh, just something to consider when you're setting up your canisters down the road. Canister filters are great. They really do a nice job filtering your water. Um, if you add chemical media, it can keep your water crystal clear for you. Just keep in mind when you're getting into a situation where you might need multiple canisters that you're going to be hauling these things back and forth and back and forth. 
So I really would uh, encourage anyone that gets anything probably above a 180 or a 220 to at least look into a sump first. Uh, much easier to maintain.